We've got two lorries and a shovel that are gonna be gone forever. We've got a train full of Type 1 coming. We've got two shovels that need servicing and repairs. And we're gonna have a look at Michael O'Donovan's classic lorry collection. I'm Daniel and this is Asheville Weekly, episode 80. said to the boys, grab a shovel, grab a shovel. And again, it feels really nice. And when we actually forced it. <laughs> what are you waiting for, your slot? We've just been through three generations of our Donovans. And now I know that you've got horses. So we're gonna have to try and get hold of that man. Right, wow, these guys are starving. Hey, you got that little poodle out, have you? This is the only thing I like to see, these, these old girls, not them new ones. The best news we've had here in a while. Tick top. It's a lovely and bright Monday morning and I'm in the yard. Um, last week, somebody put a deposit on one of the lorries we're selling and now the person has gone AWOL. We don't know where they are, but we got their deposit. And people are offering me money for the lorry and I don't quite know what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna have to try and get hold of that man. Somebody came and had a look at GFO9, the grab on Saturday, they test drove it, and they said they'd like to pop here this morning and speak to the fitter. So that lorry might be gone as well. And in more important news, the train is now here. Yes, because we needed some more trains in here. Let's get it offloaded. How we doing? Good I'm all right, mate. Another clip? Yeah. Yeah, train all done, eh? All done, yeah? yeah? How's Flo getting on? He's good, man. Is he's he doing 100%. good, yeah? yeah 100%? Yeah. Is he safe? Everything's yeah, good? Yeah, man. Yeah, I, I, I'll let him take over the movements. Just when we go back, then I'll go to the back of the train, I'll sit back. But he's, he's good with drawing the train forward and stuff like that. Yeah, he so counts down like me. So Flo's actually done it. He's taken over. He's doing the count. Good lad, he man. Yes, but it's just... When we set him back, mm -hmm. I go to the back of the train. I don't yeah. let anyone do that but me. Okay. But drawing forward, he actually yeah. counts down like I do. It does he really? Half wagon, five, four, three, two, one. Whereas the guys in the 360 grabs don't do mm -hmm. anything. They just go stomp. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, he's good. Yeah. Right. Thank you, mate. No worries, Dan. Thanks, mate. Day, mate. Right, so just having a chat with the shunter there, he said that Flo's doing really well. And Flo has actually taken over all the operations on the radio of telling the driver when to move and when to reverse and doing all the countdowns. Well done, Flo. A train successfully offloaded. It is 12.05. They've done the brake test and the train is about to leave. What are you waiting for? Your slot? We're just phoning up for it now, yes. This second, as we speak. There okay. was a delay. The other train from Colnebrook yeah. was holding us up up at West, uh, West Train Crossing and we couldn't get out. So we couldn't get out because of another train, yeah? No, no. We're, we're running early anyway. Oh, are we? Yeah, yeah. That's good news. We're running early. Yeah. yeah. Well, look, so, we're coming. Where, when? Now. I sent you a message where you were on holiday because I, I took a video in here and sent it to you. Did you? On what? Uh, Insta, I think. I wouldn't have seen it. Sorry, mate. It's all right. Because I put, while you're near the equator, yeah. this is your yard. And I was trying to forget about the yard. <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> Spaghetti, all covered with cheese. I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed. It rolled off the table. Ready when you are, Sam. Remember the few things we talked about last time, including yep. um, the location of the stairs. Yeah. Um, because of the. Uh, the slab above, which yep. is lower above this, yep. sorry, it's lower above this section and then protrudes slightly into this area. Yep. Um, I've had to move the stairs. So the stairs I've had to eat into the games room, mm -hmm. which has minimized the size, as you can see. Okay. I've created this alcove here for the bar. So while you're seated over here, mm -hmm. you can still see what's going on okay i mean it's decent 
Is, we're not gonna. How big is the landing? Um, at the there. How big? How big is that landing there? Just to. Is it in like nine hundred by nine hundred? Okay. Yeah. It's fine. As long as it's not enough of a landing. Nine hundred by a meter, because as long as building control aren't going to be like, man, that's too small. But yeah, that's yeah. fine. Um, the other thing I noticed was, you know, there's a curved wall about here. Only best to show you 3D. Yeah. What happened was when we had a wall running across here, it just didn't make sense because you had this open space here. You had a yep. slip of wall in this corner here, so the wall just continues down. I understand. But you have this funny corner here. This is lower. Mm -hmm. And this is just a pocket space, so I don't know whether you want to. We should put a feature. We must fill it with a feature. No, I, I reckon yeah. we could use that space to put. I wouldn't say like a waterfall, but we could definitely put a feature there. That as you walk down, feature. yeah, we should definitely make a feature there. Those are the main changes um, in the basement. If you're okay with that, then Fine. I can I can fire that off to the structure engineer. Yeah, it's all it's all done. It's Tuesday and I'm in my yard, in my office. Uh, that was a Zoom call again with the architect because we have to um, give more detail for the structural engineer. Uh, you saw previously we were drilling the boreholes at that project and then we were doing exploratory works to expose the existing structure. Well, he requested more information so the architect has now beefed up on it and we are sending it back to him now. So hopefully we should have the full structural plans very soon. It's Tuesday afternoon at 4.25. Uh, we're just doing a watch through of Asheville Weekly episode 79. 79. And I was just looking through my phone uh, for a video of the weigher for the bagging machine working before we had all the conveyor belts in place. And when I was looking at my phone, I found the pictures of the original rail yard so originally that yard didn't have a railway i was in that yard one day just kicking stones i was very stressed out something was happening and i began to uncover the ground i kicked a bit of metal and i thought what's going on here then i got a shovel and i started cleaning it. i said to the boys grab a shovel grab a shovel and we started cleaning it cleaning it and we found railway track buried in the ground when we saw that railway track in the ground that is how the plan came into place to pull all of it out of the ground and put a new rail line in. And here we can show you some of the pictures of the journey and how that went. You can see it looks a lot different now, now that we've actually been using it. But it just reminded me of the history and I see some of the dates on some of those pictures. So um, now that has made it into this week's what I'm filming now. And I'm filming 80, 80 or 81 am I filming now? I'm filming 80. 80. I'm filming 80, yeah. 20 more episodes to go after this one. Bro, that was the perfect cue to press play so we could keep going. Bro. To That was the perfect finish, bruv. Just, oh. We're all out of a job at yeah. <laughs> No, we're not out of a job. <laughs> we're not out of a job at home, but that was perfect. Was if you'd have just pressed play there, then that would have been the we perfect closure. That. What? We could have easily faked that. All right, cool. But we could have just pressed spacebar so it played. It's also going to cut off the other conveyor belt. Um, so someone is giving us a price for that control panel at the moment. Oh, I think that's it. Wednesday and I'm in the yard. Hmm? Um, no, I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> Wednesday and I'm in the yard. Uh, the samples have arrived for the basement salvage. So we showed a couple of small samples a couple of weeks back and the client asked for bigger ones so he can get an idea of what it will look like on the wall. And here we are. So this one's got a little bit of a sheen to it. A very nice fabric. Feels nice as well. And this one is a, still a blue, but it's a bit lighter, you know. And again, it feels really nice. Uh, these textured walls will give the room a really high-end feel. So we're gonna let the client decide between the two. I probably think he's gonna go with this one because with all the lighting we're gonna do down there, uh, the way the light will reflect on this will be really nice. Um, in other news, I've just seen that we have two trains coming in next week, thankfully. And Lee Bear here to do a service on the loading shovel.
down in the yard looking at a few bits and I told you a couple of weeks ago we're selling our screener well the screener has sold and the gentleman paid for it immediately so they're coming collect it tomorrow morning but we've got it tucked away in the bottom of the yard so we're just going to track it up to this area because tomorrow when the low loader gets here at 7.30 he can load it and be off out the gate very quickly. Coming to the railway yard quickly uh, to look at something on the L860. Uh, all is well, but I just had some fantastic news. The best news we've had here in a while. Congratulations to Simon and Lisa. They had their baby girl. Let's have a look at the picture over here. Congratulations to Simon and Lisa. Uh, new house and new car as well. Things are definitely going in Simon's direction. But what we always want is a healthy baby and healthy mum, and that's what we've got. So we've been working on this for a little while. If you've seen, we've got the new walkie-talkies all around the yard where we finally got a chance to put one in the lorry. Daniel calling Tezza. Tezza, can you hear me? Calling Tezza. Can you hear me, Tezza? Can you read me? I don't know what you're doing, but when me and I'm doing it, it worked perfectly well. And now you've got involved, it's not working. Well, can you or can you not hear me? Over. I can confirm that after a little bit of practice, I can hear you. You must mean practice for you, not for me. Over. No, I don't mean that. I don't mean that at all. Terry, so we now have a tipper with the new radio system, and it's a two-way radio, so when everyone's on the road, we can hear everything. Over. That is correct. Over. So we now have the walkie-talkie system set up in one of the lorries. We're going to test it. Uh, so when this driver's out on the road, we'll be able to radio him. He'll be able to radio us. And you can also call each other individually. Nice. Going to run a test. Uh, see how this works and if it does work we're going to put it in all the lorries and all the machines this man they're asking me so yeah if i've got my car key why do you want to know where my car key is <laughs> you're blocking me in. i'm blocking you in but bro, what are you rushing to man it's 25 to 6 bro about your dusting i know, I know I'm, let me just quickly look for my car keys just gonna find my car keys in there innit? <laughs> oh one sec Oh, that's my house keys. Oh. No, no, oh, cool, isn't it? Cool, isn't it? His car key must be in the same pocket as the pay rise. It's too long to his arms to get to the bottom of. <laughs> you know what it is? <laughs> Terry already wears his pants low. If I give him a pay rise, his wallet will pull his trousers down even more. That's what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> All now in his rush to move my car, he nearly wrote my whip off for me about his racing out. Trying to play bumper cars with Vesha. Brez, man. Bro, you just got in and you're going home already. I just got in. You just got in and you're going home already. Well, the cutaways will tell you that <laughs> I was here before you. No, 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 those cutaways <laughs> will never make the edit. Did you move my seat and all that as well? Yeah. Why are you moving my seat? I hope you didn't change my settings on my stereo either. I did. Is it locked? Okay. It's Thursday and I'm in the yard. Um, we have three pet robins. So we saw some robins around here. We saw them on the floor bobbing around and we decided to put some bird seed out for them. And we put it on top up here because the foxes around here, they're nyamists like Terry, they eat absolutely everything they see, but they're not gonna eat it if we put it up here. So if you can hear birds in the background all the time in the yard, it's because of our free robins that we keep feeding. So put this up here. I know it ain't the most scientific way, and I know all of you are probably gonna say, you should get a bird hut and put the bird hut up there. But this is how we're doing it for now. And the robins seem to be taking it. 
in other news, a bullnose lorry has turned up to pick up the screener. Now we're about to start work on the loading shovel. Let's have a look. So I had some squeaking yesterday when this was loading a lorry. <coughs> now that's a problem, because squeaking means no grease. So when I had a look here, I realized that the grease lines that are running to these pins and bushes, no grease was getting into them. Now by this time it's too late, because you can't just try to fix the lines, because these pins and bushes, they won't take grease. So what we have to do now, we have to pull these pins out, we have to manually put grease in, put them back, so we've got grease in there, then fit the grease lines, and then it should keep working. Now without grease in there, these will wear very quickly, and this is going to be very expensive, so hopefully we've caught it early enough. This Thursday, it's 4.25, uh, somebody has bought this lorry and they're coming to collect it now. Make sure I'll take my sign. Uh, when the lorries are parked up in the yard and they're not going anywhere, we really should leave one of these in it, just in case um, we get a surprise inspection and someone comes to see us. So they don't say, hey, look at that lorry. The tire's underinflated by 0.001%. We're going to throw you in jail and throw away the key. It's a great lorry for the price you sell these lorries for. Whoever's going to buy this is definitely going to be able to make good money with it. So let's hope it's going to a good home. Let's go and have a look at the loading shovel. Still got a fine cutting edge on that. So we got a little bit lucky with the loading shovel. We're thinking of pulling out all the pins and bushes, but when we actually forced it, we forced it and it took the grease and it wasn't damaged beyond repair. And then we got a specialist out and we made this new hose. Now previously, this hose, it was running from this point all the way down and around here and then from here to here, it was a metal hose. Now we've done one entire hose, which works up to 3000 PSI. So now we have grease everywhere and this will continue to grease. We managed to do it before there was no damage and now we have no more squeaking. I think we better test that, just to make sure. No squeak, and it's protected. And that's it for Thursday. What makes it harder? Um, What's so the ingredient that changes? So cement, the more cement. What's a tipper? A tipper is a lorry that has no grab on it. Mm -hmm. Just, you load it from the machine mm -hmm. and then you've got to start tipping it off. What's a grab? A grab is a lorry, same as a tipper, but it has a, a grab that can pick up muck from the side of the road. What two size grabs have we got? So we've got a six by two, Sorry, four by four by two, and a two by two, is it? Eight by two. Eight by two. How many arctics have we got? Two. I don't know who asked something. <laughs> Such an idiot! <laughs> if you were mapping out a lorry for the day, a tipper, mm -hmm. what would you? How would how would you do it? How would you try best to do it? How do we want the lorries to run? So What's the optimal? Never run them empty. So if I've got a job in High Wycombe, I find a job in High Wycombe or in the High Wycombe area to then come back, for example. How many concrete lorries we got? Four. Five. Five. Four that was all on the road at one spec. Mm -hmm, very good. How many pump lorries have we got? 
one. And what kind of pump lorry is it? It's um, it's two types. There's a boom and a line pump. That's Which line one is it? Pump. Correct. And how many meters of line is included when we price them? I believe it's 60. 40. 40, sorry, 40. Yeah. Yeah. How many skip lorries we got? Two. What different size skips do we do? 12 and 8. And what variations of an 8 yard are there? Oh, there's the crane, 8 and a normal. How many litres of diesel does our diesel tank hold? 10,000 litres. 20,000 litres. Yeah. All right. So you're getting it, yeah? We can now. Good. All right. It's uh, 624 on Good Thursday, the day before Good Friday. And it's going to be a Good Friday because Terry's going to be in by himself in the yard. I like to tell? You're lying, yeah. <laughs> Just having a little walk around, locking up the gates, putting the padlocks on, just double checked that all the keys are out of the lorries and out of the machines, all locked in the safe. And I don't think there'll be a lot going on in the yard tomorrow other than Terry uh, sweeping up. <coughs> what, Tezza? Hello? You locked up, yeah? Yeah, I had to do the gate, it required a bit of muscle. Is it? Left that one. I left that one. Yeah, because I was trying to let you out the yard, but you, you didn't have the driving skills to go through the gate. Put the padlock on. And that's it. We're off. And uh, speak to you tomorrow, Tom. Come around for breakfast, yeah? Yeah, I'll come around for breakfast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might try and train in the morning for once, and then I'll see you for breakfast. Signing off for Thursday. Bruv, drive off in it. That's the cue to drive off so that's it looks good. Cinema. All right, let me see it again. Yeah. And that's it. Signing off for Thursday. It's Friday morning. Good Friday to be exact. I'm not in the yard. I thought to myself, I come down to the gym early, try and do a bit of cardio. Yep, the swear word, cardio. Uh, did a bit of strengthening on my shoulder and I come back to my car and I have a parking ticket. Now as far as I'm concerned, bank holidays count as a Sunday. And I've checked the sign and I've checked it's a single yellow, but I have a parking ticket. Now I know everyone's got to make a living, but these parking wardens and the council around here, right, these guys are starving, like proper starving. How do you give someone a ticket on a day like this? So I'm going to contest it. I'm going to try anyway. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but I'm definitely going to contest it. I'm going to go and get myself a haircut now. Probably grab my laptop and find somewhere um, in an open area to work so I can get some inspiration and try and catch some sun. Because after my holiday, my skin's beginning to turn back to Captain Custard colour, looking like I went on holiday on a submarine all those weeks ago. It's a distant memory. I'm at an undisclosed location trying to get to Michael O'Donovan's and I've hit a dead end. Yeah. Dan? Listen, I'm in your manor. But I just can't find this, man. Right. Let me go on the camera. Let me see where you are. Let's get in here out of the way. Hang on. The other camera. I'll see you there in two seconds. Yeah, that's you sitting in the spot for the driver. Did it drive up? Drive up where? Yeah. You don't expect me to get out and open it I'm myself, cool. do you? No, no, here, 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 it's uh, Donovan's. So Donovan's, all electric, all electric, my friend. Well, I've got to get on the other side. Ah, uh, you're, you're in the station, I can see you back in back. Yeah. All uh, right, I'm driving up to that gate. All uh, right, have you got the red carpet out? Uh, got the, the, the dogs are still out, so we want to see how you're going to manage. We've got a black and yellow carpet, special one. Black and yellow carpet, nice. <laughs> you got that You got that little poodle out, have you? He ain't going to go trying yeah, to chew my wanna... trainers, is he? <laughs> you chew more than you're trying to chew the wing off your car. <laughs> right, there you are. Stop there, stop there, stop there, stop there, stop right. there. Right, I'm going to have to you off that before I open the gates. All right. All right, see you in a second. See you in a sec. Right. I found it. I can't see any black and yellow carpet. Oh, another set of gates. Where shall I park my motor vehicle, good sir? Right there. I finally made it. Give us a wave, Michael. Ryan. I'm now looking at the classic O'Donovan collection. 
Tell me, what's the history? Every vehicle in here, my old man had either three or four of them or one or two of them. Albion, Scammels, AECs, guys, D-Series, Thames Traders. Started off with the Thameses, put the firm on the road with the Scammels. With a load of them. He actually had, that's SPP 546J. He actually had SPR something something J come off the same firm and he had WAR something something J as well that all come off the same firm. Do you take these out ever? Yeah, we take them out. We run every now and again, fire them up every now and again. We've done a charity run the other month. We took the guy and the AC out. How hard are these to drive? Very hard. As we yeah. said to you before, you wouldn't be able to drive one. What are you talking about? I wouldn't be able to drive. Of course I would. Yeah. Can you hard. drive them? I can drive everything. In. Well, there Not we go. thing I can't drive. It's got a steering wheel in it. Motorbike, oh, steering wheel, okay, fine. Not a motorbike, no. You don't have a steering wheel, does it? No. What sort of engines are in these? 680 Leyland, 401 Leyland, 401 Leyland. Hey, the one in front, that's the one. If you start a doubt now, we'd all have to run. It's got a Gardner 180. <laughs> isn't it? Terrible. Smoke out. The name and everything you got on these, have you painted that on or is that stickers? Yeah, I think this one's stickers, boy. But the old, the old, the old school is to have painting on, isn't it? That's paint. That's all side. Okay. And, and that's exactly how my old man has Exactly as you see there. Dead Adam. D J O Donovan and Sons was there, and the Limited was in the middle of there. Ah. Uh, so that's the only mistake they've made on them. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna hang them over that, though, are we? <laughs> this was an ex tarmac lorry, so we left it in tarmac's colours and just put the old man's name on it. But the old man used to run six wheelers of these, four wheelers, six wheelers, and eight wheelers of these. So this would fill the whole shop full of smoke. Really? And how old is this? E Reg, what's E Reg? 66, 67? E Reg from the last time round, though. Yeah, from the first time round, didn't it? The first time round, yeah. yeah. The old Guy Warrior, that's what they were called, weren't they, back in the day? This is not a Guy Warrior, obviously, mm -hmm. but they used to have these and the old Guy Warrior back in the day. And they used to have all the feathers painted different colours for the different tribes. And they'd have all their feathers painted. This is just a guy, Big, uh, big J8. These were a more modern vehicle. That, they were lovely to drive. You might make a living out of this one day, this, this crack with the lorries. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> this is a 64 Thames Trader. So what would be in the back of it? That was a grain lorry back in its day, but we used to use the high-sided ones for the rubbish back in the day as well. But that was obviously originally started as a grain lorry, and you had a load of them little D-series as well. What's the engine on these D-series? It's a six-cylinder Ford engine, but it's lying on its side. But it's lying on its side. Yeah, these are straight and they're lying on their side. That's the only difference they made of them. This is the only thing I like to see, these, these old girls, not them new ones. This is a bit of fun. We're going to truck fest next, next, when we going, Ryan? A couple of weeks time. Little van my old man used to have back in the day. Another project's got to be finished. So what are you going to do, restore this? Restore that, send that in and get it all done. Mate, in my world, yeah, restoring one of these is a separate video in my world. Is it? Oh, a bulldoze. Yes. That's the baby. 480 V8, straight pipes out the back. Look at the plate on that. Mm. Got a picture of your dad on the fifth wheel. Yeah. It's the one I drive myself. You've got to have the man that started the firm here, haven't you? Better one back here. Look at this back here, look. You know, you know I've got a mic. It's hard for me to be squeezing through. What about this old girl? Oh. Why is it black? Asheville Colours. We've got it done. Asheville Colours, look. <laughs> DR Trucking. What's this film again, Ryan? Convoy. Convoy. This is the Convoy film. We've got to get this one finished. She's all painted and ready to be put back together. We're yeah. getting um, Fitzgerald to make me a couple of old fashioned bodies. Yeah. And we're going to put bodies on them. And then we've got the old tow truck out the back. We have four eight wheelers now, four eight wheel scammers. One in the shed that's done, finished. This one's the next one to be finished. We've got new set of tyres to go on her. She's got a TL11 engine at this one. This was one that probably, if you got her wound up, she'll probably get up to 65, 70 mile an hour. Whether she'd stop. It'd probably be another thing, but that's a tractor unit they turned into a recovery truck. But I'm going to turn it back into a tractor unit eventually. Six, eight, and I oh know this has got a 220 Rolls on it, this one. Yeah, 220 Rolls Royce. How old is this? I don't mean this is that old, this one, is it? L Reg, this is 73, 74. Just the 143. Yeah, that's the pride of the fleet. 
Dad is not forgotten, is he? No. Can't forget the man that started the firm. Put us on the map. There was a lot of them started after him. All right, so now we've gone back in history quickly. Now let's have a look at a few new bits of kit. See that Ryan, you look like a bit of a Volvo man here, from what I can see. Now I've got tippers, but I'm seeing a, a five, R520. That's a big old cab. What's that, an S cab? R cab. Huge. That's a Scania, that's, that's more my kind of thing. What's it like on fuel? It's pretty good on fuel considering the power of the engine. So you are a Volvo man, but the flagship's a Scania? Yeah. It's a one-off. I'll get a flagship one day when I, when I, when I sort my life out. Yeah, and fellas stop, uh, and fella stop knocking me. I'm asking about brake horsepower. So, so now we've got to go and look at the horses. <laughs> it's nice here, man. It's nice, man. He's a what horse? A rescue horse. A rescue horse. What does that mean? He rescued you or you rescued him? Four o'clock new market, but every penny you got on him. Look, there she comes, here she comes. Six o'clock <laughs> new market. <laughs> so we've just been through three generations of our Donovans. Yes. And now I know that you've got horses. Mm -hmm. We've seen all our projects. You know, so I say our projects, I'm gonna involve myself and try and film them. I've seen all the show lorries as well, what are going to the show. And I know you're going to Truck Fest. I didn't hear an invite as of yet, but I'm sure it's on the way. I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's in the By post. All means come. I wasn't even invited today. I invited myself. Yeah, but you could always pop up. It's, this is an open house for everybody here. I'm sure you don't mean everybody. Well, not everybody. <laughs> a few of you. You know the few I like out there. Mm. There's not too many of you, though. <laughs> That's it for Good Friday. Signing off. And tomorrow, I'll be back in the yard. Bell, Bell eat your camera fine and quick. <laughs> Wouldn't ya? Wouldn't ya? They're better looked after than me. <laughs> it's Saturday and I'm working from home. Uh, I trained this morning, I went down there early and I'm happy to say that at long last the strength is coming back in the legs. I know all of you like to say, he doesn't train his legs. But I most definitely do train my legs and they are getting stronger daily. I'm not as strong as I once was, but I'm definitely getting there. I'm just on Auto Trader now and I'm marking a couple of lorries as sold because we've sold the DAF Tipper. I believe someone's coming to collect it on Tuesday of next week and we've sold the 09 plate Volvo Grab. Now there's an interesting story behind that. Simon the Farmer has bought it, and Simon the Farmer is now married to Maya. Now Maya worked at Asheville for around five years, and the two of them met through me. Yes, obviously, I'm taking the credit for it. And they now have young Freddy as well. So Simon the Farmer has now got his second Grab, and they are running their family business, and we wish them the world of luck, and that the lorry is as good to them as it was to us. And that's it for Asheville Weekly. Click here for the Asheville website. Click here to subscribe to our channel. Click here to see an Asheville video you may not have seen before. And click here for last week's episode, which was number 79. I'm having dreams about Michael O'Donovan's old lorries. That like bull nose Scania. I need a flagship, but I don't think we're ready for a flagship model yet. <laughs>